toy here. Today I'm shooting a video. I've never done anything like this before. Um, you've probably seen me do like one unboxing and um, I'm going to try to do more of those as you know the um, I guess occasion you know occurs for that. This is a haul video. I'm going to show you some of the cool things I've gathered recently. I'm going to let you know a little secret about me if you don't already know. I'm not a shopper. Um, usually if I have something that's new or new to me, um, it's been a gift by someone else. My husband has purchased it or, you know, I have some other means of gathering things because I don't shop. I will grocery shop, but even that can be stressful. So the things that I'm going to be sharing with you today are things that, again, either my husband has bought, um, something that has been given to me. Maybe there was an event I went to and I, I got it or something that came through the mail. So, being the author that I am and the, you know, fan of books that I am, I'm going to start with my bookish items. Alright, so this is actually a, an item that I'm working on. So this isn't really a haul item. I guess this would be kind of an unboxing, but it didn't come out of a box. This is um, the prototype for the children's book I'm working on. Let's see if we can get a... You know, good look at that. And and that's exactly what this is. It's a prototype. Like, this is nowhere near the finished product. But it's just kind of showing you what I hope ultimately the coloring book will look like. And this is what, um, if you remember, I did a um, teacher book slash giveaway um, at the beginning of the year. And um, some people won my coloring book, or at least what's done of the coloring book. And this is what they got. And so it's got to have some more formatting done. I'm working on, you know, some of the images that are inside of it still. And basically my idea behind it is I'm creating little short stories, but they're completely pictorial. There's no words. And based off the stories that are actually in my books. So it's definitely a work in progress. It's not something you can expect to see anytime soon. But I wanted you guys to get a little sneak peek. That's my last little personal plug for me as the author. Everything else is, you know, me praising someone else, being excited about some stuff that I got. So um, if you notice this backdrop here for an author, you're probably thinking, why am I not standing in front of a bookcase? Because honestly, my bookcase is ugly. Like, I feel embarrassed <laughs> as an as a author and a book lover that, I mean, it's not ugly. It's just really eclectic. It has more stuff on it than just books. And it's in a funky location. I don't have great lighting in my tiny little place. So this is the only place that has like really good lighting. But I also picked this location because it's a part of who I am. Also, music is a huge deal with me and my husband. And we collect lots of vinyl records. So the first, um, after I show you my bookish items, I'm going to show you some of my new records. So that's, you know, this background works. So this is actually something I got a while back, forgot about it, and I wanted to share it. I'm a huge fan of um, The Labyrinth. Um, that was one of, I guess, less popular Jim Henson movies that came out maybe 80, late 80s, early 90s. I can't remember exactly. I'm thinking late 80s. And, um, but it has since become like a huge cult classic, and I love the characters from it. So they came out with this 30th... Um, year celebration um, picture book and it's so cute and when I saw it I just had to order it you know from Amazon and I'm sure you can you know get it from wherever you want but um, it's just got some you know really wonderful images that you just if you're a fan of the story you'll love it and I love it so that came in the mail a while back now this um, next item is something that I'm super excited about. If you saw my um, reading challenge and what I'm currently reading videos, you've heard me say the words Stacey Rourke quite a few times and there I go saying it again. And so the very first thing that I ever read of hers was her Conduit story, which is the first story in her Griffin series. And when it first came out, it had this, what I thought was this unique cover that looked kind of dark. And the griffin on it just kind of, I don't know why, it just kind of spoke to me. Well, since then, the cover has been updated. It's, um, you know, it appeals more, I guess, to the young adult audience that it, you know, that it's written for. And that original cover is not in print and it broke my heart because I really loved it. 
Well, because I'm one of her number one fans, I got an original conduit with the griffin on it from her. And of course, you know, it's signed. Toynette, thank you for all your continued support. Stacy Rourke. So this is one of my prized possessions that I'm going to stick on my eclectic shelf that I'm never going to show. The last bookish item that I want to show you is one of the blogs that I follow. I saw a um, graphic novel called The Kindergartians coming out. And so this is what it looks like. This is my pre-ordered copy of The Kindergartians. And I'm really excited to read it. And if I'm really as impressed with it as I am in this cover, I'm going to share it with the kids in my class. I mean, this is one of those things that I didn't just buy this for myself, although I would have. I figured it was an investment. That's why I was willing to, you know, pre-order it. That means not a lot of people have reviewed this, so I don't know a whole lot about it, but I'm trusting just from seeing what I saw on that blog and looking at this, the idea behind it. I think it's going to be something that I can share with my students, and I'm excited. Now, let's move on to the vinyl. Now, the stuff that I'm going to show you, it's not always going to be, like, in the best condition, although sometimes it is. Um, it's not always going to be something that's worth a whole lot. It might just be worth a lot to me. Sometimes it's just, you know, interesting stuff. So my husband picked up this. It's um, Bluegrass Hooped on Campus. Um, the group is called The Undergrads. I don't know if you can see that. And we've actually started listening to it, and it's really good. I mean, I think a lot of people are maybe like me when, you know, when I was first introduced to Bluegrass, it was not something that I... No. Yeah, that is bluegrass, but it's so much more than that. If it's at all something you're interested in exploring to realize how much effort and planning and timing and artistic ability and talent goes into it, you can actually find some pretty good bluegrass. The next thing is my husband picked up a Vampire Weekend record. And this is one of those things where, you know, we could have just downloaded it, which it came with the download. But we like adding to our vinyl collection, and sometimes it's good to have more modern music to go along with a lot of our vintage stuff. So here's something classic for you. This is Sammy Davis Jr. Now. And I believe this has the Candyman on it and some other his um, signature songs that you may or may not be familiar with. Um, I really like the cover of it. I don't know if you can see it that well. My lights are a bit intense. Now this one is a find because this right here, like I don't I may have to like take it out to show it to you. First of all, so it's like a double album. It comes with like a, a picture book. It came with a 45. This is this is a record by Jack White and it was released through one of those subscription clubs where, you know, you pay whatever fee and they just send you kind of stuff at random. I'd have to um, look into it more, but the way we came across it was um, a local um, record shop had it and they were selling it for, I don't know how many hundreds of dollars. So they were trying to get rid of some stuff. They were discounting some things and we got it. It has a really cool holographic cover which you may or may not be able to tell. Um, it basically, like I said, it's two albums in one. So one um, side of the album, his backup group is called the Peacocks and on the other album the backup group is the Buzzards. What is a girl group? What is a guy group? And it's him singing songs from his different albums and it, they're live some of them are kind of different funky renditions of those songs. All right, this is getting long, but I'm going to be wrapping up soon. I'm going to edit some of this out. I recently went to an event with my sister at her church. It's called the Trendy Trade, and it's a, it's a brunch, and then everyone kind of brings in stuff, and you get to trade and hopefully, you know, be blessed from it, and I was. So here's one of the things that I got from the Trendy Trade. It's a, kind of a, I don't even know what you would call this, a smock, a... It's a shirt. It's black, not a blouse. I don't know. I have one similar, but without all the colors. This is purple, white, and kind of a cream color. It's really beautiful, very comfortable. It, it's adjustable. I love it. Now this, I'm not going to put it all on, but this is a suit jacket. It came with this brooch. 
and it's it's just a little bit big but really not that much i'll probably take it in just a little bit it has a really beautiful like plum color to it and I like the cut of it but what was so great about this was that it comes with pants and a skirt yeah i was blessed at this event i got this lovely cardigan like i don't even know if i need to put this one on for you to see how lovely it's really long it comes down past my waist it's thin but I mean I like that and let's see the last garment that I got was this sleeveless shirt that this will be good for you know work or going out depending on how you dress it up so I like that it's got some cool colors in it and then I also have some jewelry that I got which the jewelry I was really excited about it's a pair of earrings with this necklace. Isn't that pretty? Can you see it? Yeah, and it came with matching earrings. And not from the trade itself, but just because my sister loves me so much and likes to give me stuff. She gave me these really cool um, bangle bracelets. They're black and blue and kind of have kind of like zebra prints on them. And they're made from recycled materials. I just, I just love these. So I don't know if you can see them that well with my blaring lights but they're really great and the last thing i got i thought this was funny this was something that my husband bought for me we actually bought these for our nephews they live in the mountains of virginia so we thought they could use them but since we've had some snow ourselves i'm probably going to get some more i thought maybe i should get one this is my new beanie so to speak it's crocheted and it's a night helmet check this out Who's going to be warm in the next note? I am. All right, that was silly. So anyway, that was my goodies haul, and hopefully I'll do one of these again in a couple months. Bye-bye for now.